Would you like your snipers to be able to disappear on the tabletop just like they do in real life? Well then you've come to the right place because I'm going to show you how to make a giddy suit just like this one. Hi everyone and welcome to my latest video. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make a ghillie style cloak for this eliminator here. I wanted to create a natural looking scaled down ghillie cloak that would enhance the sniper style of the miniature rather than just having painted on camo on, on just a flat cloak. So the main product that we're using here today is just a dressing bandage. You can get it from any kind of first aid kit or like a pharmacy. We're not going to be using the pad itself, but the strap that would go around your arm. It's got a really good combination of fin threads and very small bits of foam that help add to the entire look once it's painted. I'll be trying to make one video every one to two months, so make sure to subscribe for more. I will also be streaming on Twitch every Wednesday evening UK time, so check out the description for links to that and my Instagram. So we're going to be using scissors to cut small strips of the bandage strap. Mine were about 5mm by 10mm but it's not an exact science. Just go with the size that looks right to you for the size of your model. We will also be using this AK Interactive camo net just to break up the uniformity of the cloak. Uh, again, just cutting it into small strips. To attach the strips to the cloak, I'm using Mod Podge. This dries much quicker than PVA Elmer's glue uh, and it's got a lot of uses, so I'd really recommend grabbing a pot of this. I've base coated the cloak in light grey as this is going to be for a snow base. Just use a darker version of the main colour you're using. Uh, I'm putting it on just neat from the pot, don't slop it on but just use a small layer of it. And then I'm going to be using some tweezers to stick the strips on one at a time. We're going to be working in small sections of the cloak, otherwise the glue is just going to dry by the time you get around to the other side. So any of the small little bits of foam that I mentioned earlier inside the threads at the bottom of these strips I'm going to be removing them with the tweezers. This kind of creates those little strands falling down which really helps sell that gilly look that we're looking for. Generally I'll do two rows making sure to have some overlap between the upper and lower layers just to kind of give a bit more of volume to the cloak. Once we get a few rows, I'll add a strip of the camo net from AK to break up the pattern. Uh, then I'm just going to continue through the entire cloak. Uh, I'm also going to do this exact same pattern on the backpack wrap that's uh, over the top of the backpack, the hood, and now I'm going to do some of it over the gun. For the gun, just use slightly longer strips and do them from the top down to the sides. Once the whole cloak is done, I mix some Mod Podge with water and paint this all over the cloak just to seal the texture in so that when we're painting it, it doesn't all just disappear. Uh, this is why I recommend Mod Podge over normal glue as it's a sealer as well. Next to the painting, as mentioned this is for a snow base but you can substitute the colours for tans or greens to suit your army basin scheme. I start with Celeste Grey through the airbrush. I've already painted the armor and have masked this off to prevent any overspray. If you don't have an airbrush, you could just use Grey Sear Spray from GW, the uh, rattle can. Just make sure the can is a little bit further away than normal to stop it being a bit too thick. The second paint is Olfu and Grey, just from above this time with the airbrush. If you don't have an airbrush, you could just dry brush this stage really, that's all you need. And then finally, I'm going to dry brush pure white in a downwards motion. I don't dry the brush on a paper towel, uh, but I do it on my glove to stop the moisture wicking away from the brush and creating a dusty effect, which is not really what we want. 
um, we just want to kind of get a bit of white on those upper facing bits and that's going to be it when I base the mini I overbrush some of the snow paste that I put onto the base on the bottom of the cloak just to tie it in a bit so you could do that with some mud or just some like sand and things like that so hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video